Hey guys, my name is Alan and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'll be teaching you on how you can remove the buzz sound from your microphone on post-processing. So in my last video, I was reviewing my Behringer Scenix 802, which is the audio mixer that I used to power this thing. And by the way, if you haven't watched it yet, make sure to check it out on the description below. But on that video, I was using a very random microphone. It wasn't even a lavalier microphone. It's just a microphone that I have uh, lying around here and I decided to use it. Now, it was usable, but it has a lot of buzz noise. You'll hear it in a bit because we'll be using the same audio file that I had last video for the demonstration of how you can actually remove it. In this video as well, we're going to be using Adobe Edition from Adobe. But if you guys want to know how you can do it for free, you can use Audacity. And I'll be making a video on that as well. But for today, we'll be using Adobe Edition. So I'll hop into the computer and wear my headphones. So let's start removing some noise. All right, so let's get on it. Now we're on my desktop and I'll be using this one, which is the Cut Audio Mixer Review. So technically the same file, but is cut just for demonstration purposes in this video. And I'll launch Adobe Edition. So this is Adobe Edition. You just open it up and it's going to look like this. And this is my file, the Cut Audio that I showed earlier. I just drag it in and it's going to be here. Now I don't mind this blank space right here. Um, it doesn't have any sound in it. Uh, that's just like a cut, you know, and then I exported it into a two file. So we got the first cut right here. Uh, I'll make you guys listen to it. If you're an audio professional, you'll probably hate this video. But if you're just a consumer, you'll understand what I'm actually saying. You guys hear that? The sound effect and the microphone is causing it. And I know a lot of people is experiencing this and they don't know what to do. They're just gonna use it, sir. even though now, it if sounds really bad. Get a mixer because it's it continues all the way almost to the end of my video. Now, how would I remove it? First things first, I'll find an area where there's a lot of it and less of my voice, if that makes sense. All right, let's see. Right here, I can see that this is like a fairly flat point in my audio waveform, and these little uh, little waves right here are my voice. So let me just play this part right here. And it, it's a solid... Uh, you can use the sound removal tool or you can use a sound noise removal. Yeah, there's a difference between the two. But what I found most effective in this scenario is the sound removal tool. So you're just going to go to effects, noise reduction and restoration or slash restoration. Make sure you have the thing highlighted, by the way. As you can see, I have mine right here. The buzz sound only and we're gonna go into sound remover process and you want to click learn sound model so it's gonna learn it now you can click enhance suppression and enhance for speech since i'm talking right into the mic anyway on that specific video so content complexity i think this is just fine i think on 10 refinement passes i just want to do maybe 60 just so it still sounds great and we're just going to do this right here and it's it's pretty much the same now you can increase the fft size i'm pretty sure the higher you have it is the longer it will take but more accurate so i'm just going to make it 8192 now i'm going to click Control a on this top part right here and then press apply uh, I control day, basically even the second cut is just gonna have that sound gone. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it's just a pure flat line now. Now, listen to it again. If you're an audio professional, you'll probably hate this video. But if you're just a consumer, you'll understand what I'm actually saying. Anyway, you got your EQs right here. You got the highs, the mids, the lows. How's that? The sound is gone, the sound removal is working, and your voice just sounds way better. Now we can listen to the second part. Because it's cheap. It has a lot of inputs. I would suggest. Now my voice sounds very tinny now. And I don't like that on my voice. Because that's not how my voice is supposed to sound. The microphone is causing my voice to be tinny. It introduced the buzz noise and then removed it. And then that remo sound removal of course would remove some more frequency from my low ends. Because it's like a hmm noise instead of a, a s noise. So um yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do now is basically add bass or actually, you know what? Let's compress it first. We can normalize it by pressing N and then I'll just normalize that. It's just going to make our gain more higher, I guess. And what I'm going to do now is add a compressor. You can do EQ first before compressor, whatever you choose. This is kind of my way, kind of. But I do have a, another video coming out uh, wherein you can inject EQ directly to your microphone before even windows process it so if you want to if you want to station for that you can hit that subscribe button but um
Like, it's it's alright. I wouldn't do proper EQ in this one. Just trying to make it a little bit more basic. You'll understand what I'm actually saying. Just getting the Q802 version instead of just the 802 version. Now, this thing is already good for me because I only just really need one track. But whenever I sometimes record the guitar up there with the other um, guitar mic or whatever, or use this mic uh, simultaneously, I do the left and right trick. Or sometimes I have to... Alright, I, I think I'll go with that and it sounds already okay for me. Um, but of course, I'll spend a bit more time fixing the EQ if I were to actually use this in a video. Actually, I think on that video, I was just using addition to remove the buzz noise and then I used the normal premiere kind of addition effects as well for the audios. So technically, my audio was made or processed on premiere itself. Uh, but yeah, I think you can add a vocal enhancer, which just increase the high pass, low pass, whatever. You can do a lot more stuff. You can fix this more. You can add more EQ, Low. properly EQ it. Instead of but I think I'll stick with it. Uh, now, if you gain some type of noise, which is I think in this area there is, there isn't. It has like a sound, uh, the S or the hiss sound. You can just add noise reduction and then a denoiser. Let's not highlight anything. You can do this to maybe 15. Add this in here and then make this on one. Because it's cheap. Oh, that's too much because we barely have any noise now right maybe even just three there you go i don't know if you guys can even hear that now after doing that you can just control a just to make sure everything press apply what i'm actually saying it has a lot of inputs i would suggest getting the q802 now that doesn't sound the best but i am just showing you guys on how you can remove the buzz sound and i think this video is already long uh, but how would you actually export it and use it on premiere now you can just control shift and e which that's that's the key bind for how you export quickly uh, you can just highlight the area that you want to export i'll be exporting everything so control a control shift e this window will pop up i can browse where i want my folder to save i'll just put it on the desktop here and then make it the cut audio mixer review blah 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 save and click uh you can change the format i can change it into a dot wav um there you go press ok if i go to my desktop here i would have this file and this is it the cut that wav if you're an audio professional you'll probably hate this video but if you're just a consumer you'll understand what i'm actually saying removes almost every single mm, sound all right midway on this video apparently my camera got disconnected on the trail but it's fine i got my trail out there anyway if it did help you in any way shape or form make sure to share it with your friends like this video hit that subscribe button i saw there's only a few percent of you watching my videos actually is subscribed so um why don't you subscribe you're watching me <laughs> and uh yeah i uh, share it with your friends turn on that notification bell so you get notified whenever i do upload a new video and uh yeah hopefully it helped you and i'll see you guys in my next video have a nice day and goodbye